Frankie is a Chinese crusted purebred who's ferocious. Frankie! Come here, Frankie! Within the first week of bringing Frankie home, walk, I noticed some aggression. If he sees another dog across the street, he'll go crazy. I can't control him. Before Frankie, I had never been bitten by a dog before. This was a full-on bite. I had to pry my hand out. That was scary. If he bites somebody, I can't control what happens to him. I'm really hoping that Matt can help me with Frankie because I don't know where else to go. Nice, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. In. Because of Frankie's tendency to bite, we're starting with him safely contained. That's a normal reaction? Yeah. Immediately, I can see and hear that though he is a rad-looking dog, he is beyond anxious at my arrival. Don't engage with Frank at all. In fact, I won't even look at him. Oh, who's that? That's Clover. Oh, that's Clover. Yeah. Clover. Is she your first Chinese crested? Mm-hmm. Pretty amazing dogs, huh? So amazing. Yeah. He came from the shelter, so I don't know what his backstory is. He was already kind of off. Off, yeah, I didn't know how to walk on a leash. He was right. underweight. He's, he's bit, bit me. He's bit you. And he broke skin on me. I still have the little scabs uh -huh. from a couple weeks ago. He's not bit anybody else because you're just... I don't let him. Yeah. But he has sure would have. He goes so nuts sometimes, and I don't know what to do for him. Clover, I took to dog training class, mm -hmm. and she did great. Mm -hmm. Frankie got kicked out of obedience class because he was making a ruckus, and he wouldn't calm down. He was lunging at other dogs. Mm. Who gets kicked out of puppy obedience one? Plenty of dogs that come to us. I love Frankie and want him to succeed in life. Yeah, everything that you're describing is fear-based. Mm. What I'd like to do is have you put a leash on him and hand the leash to me. OK. Now look at this, I'm getting a lot of play over here because somebody's getting some attention from right. mom. You're barking yes. up the wrong sucker. No, I'm gonna come over here. Go ahead, let go. Go ahead and sit down. I'm just gonna see what's what. You're welcome to smell. We're not there yet, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. We're not there yet either. Oh, oh that snap. was sassy. Okay. What you have here is a dog that is addicted to attention. He's not secure, he's not having an independent, healthy experience. No. If they're both sleeping on the bed, you have a, you have a problem. OK. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to cuddle with a puppy? Why have a dog if you're not going to cuddle all night? If I don't sleep with them, I don't have anyone else to cuddle. Yes, I can't tell you how many people have said almost the same thing to me, that you're not, you're not alone in that. What I see more than anything else in my work with people is that they have an emotional need that they are expecting the dog to fulfill. That's why we keep dogs in the bed. Ideally, neither dog is on the bed again. Oh my this God. is about relationship. When you have a dog that vacillates from fear aggression to obsessive neediness, letting that dog in the bed will almost certainly exacerbate its anxiety and fear. The owners that get the dogs off the bed see a difference in the dog's ability to calm themselves down. OK. Come here, Frankie. You hang on to the leash, but don't pet him, no. and just gently scooch him off your lap. So we're going to encourage him to be next to you, but not on you. Scooch her gently no. off of your lap. You stay over here. OK, good. They both have landed in a place where they are comfortable, self-induced calm. You didn't have to tell them to do anything. All you did was set up a boundary, which was, don't come into my space without permission. You have a stunning, unique dog. People come into his space without permission, and part of the generalized lesson there is that Frankie goes into people's space without permission. Going at someone or at a dog is often about getting space. Yes, Frankie, I was talking about you. What I can do is help him feel like his space is more respected. I'd like that. Frankie needs to gain some independence and security. Until we see each other again, I want you to get the dogs out of the bed and do not give Frankie affection unless he's calm. You don't think it's too late for him? No, great question. Nope, not at all. I've never seen a dog for whom it's too late. Okay, that's good.